Hey, hey, it's Ghosty. What's going on, everybody? So, what I wanted to do was do a quick video about the Rogue Faction. So, the question comes up about... Actually, let me just double check something here and make sure. Working on another scrapping envoy. I'll make a video about why you want to max out envoys and scrap them another time but with that said let's get back to this so here in the rogue store you'll notice at the top is your points to your next level so as it says here for scoundrel is 25k to 100k and obviously I have not passed 100k yet so right now I am still considered actually sorry no I am a scoundrel but in order to make accomplice I gotta get to 100k okay got my story straight <laughs> Here's the thing. So the way to improve this or to increase this is one of two things you can buy. There's this right here, the directives, rep, and credits. Okay. So in this store here, you'll see that it's asking for a bunch of these things. So with 12,000 12, of these, which as you can see, I already got, I'm preset for my next uh, purchase. And then look what comes in it. 1,155 faction credit. Okay, the other thing that you can buy, which doesn't come up as often, because as you can see here, this one here is not going to come back to me, because I pretty much already bought this, so I got a three-day wait before I can do this one. But this one will give me 2,145, and basically what it's asking for is the uh, Uncommon Exchange loot, which comes from defeating the Armadas. So the one that you can buy every day, the Directives, Rep, and Credit, comes off of these which is things you can mine from the survey ships out there in outlaw space the armadas that you beat up on then can turn around and buy these exchange heist loots every three days depending on your level will also determine how much what kind of uranium you see I don't think that the uranium uh, I think it was it wasn't until I hit scoundrel that I finally started getting rare uranium so you really want to hurry up and get to Scoundrel so you can start upgrading your Stella to that level. Uh, let's see here. Manage. Upgrade. So right now uh, I'm a little short of being able to upgrade it. Oh, wait. No, I can upgrade. The, oh, no. I don't have enough of the green. Hmm. Oh, that sucks. Okay. But anyway. So, yeah. Once your Stella hits Tier 5, then you can really use the uh, actually I think at the end of tier four you can even use it oh, I gotta love those pop-ups but uh, yeah that explains the store go to factions go to rogue these are the only two things that you can purchase right now or at least that I'm aware of because right here throughout this store the only thing I'm I really am presented left with is going to be missions like outlaw missions um, yeah. Otherwise, it's translating Stella Particles to other materials. Outlaw Recruit, which these characters are pretty much useless. You would really only want to spend the points on those if you just absolutely have to have them, because you are just that kind of a collector. But yeah, Directives, Rep, and Credits is purchase number one. In exchange heist loot is purchase number two and that's that's how you get faction points for rogue hope this video helps have a great evening